Hey guys, what you doing? Uh, my name's Lucas. I'm right behind you. Uh, why don't you turn around and talk to me? Uh, anyway, my friend here with the green shirt, he's a dog. He's not allowed in here. I'm, I'm not supposed to tell you that. Did, did you guys know that Etoy, that Mother 3 was supposed to be his first 3D game? He was going to have the Rumble Pack, and you were going to be able to make faces and put them on characters. But then there was 3D problems. And then the N64 disk drive gave out. And yeah, that's why he's on the Game Boy Advance now. I'll give you 500 D Drago points if you turn around right now. Alright, I'm going back in the secret room now. The room you don't know about because you never turn around. Later. Those guys are so fired. Welcome back to Mother 3. Previously, we snuck into Club Tichibu. A place not for kids or dogs. And, uh, we saw DCMC, who rocked out loud. And Kumatora told us off about showering. And now we're gonna go into the attic now. We gotta meet up with Duster and tell him that he is not a band member, he is a thief that steals eggs. And I was recently leveling up up here. And buying things off this mouse. Because they like to collect things. I bought the better stick for Lucas. As you can see right there, I have it. Also, I bought a whole bunch of bombs for Boney! He's a veritable dog of destruction. And right up here is... Item Hobo Guy again. He's stalking me. Yeah, I don't want to talk to him. And there's a map right here too. The blue squares indicate that's where we have to go. This is the most helpful map ever. So we're going to be going there today. I looted a few of the presents by mistake, but you didn't miss much. It was like food or antidotes or something like that. But I'm just gonna barge my way through! There's lots more enemies. I can skip a few. Back attack this one. It's the greedier mouse from behind. You see, he has two pieces of cheese. He's greedier than a greedy mouse. But he still dies to his hits. He'll do things like steal your stuff. I don't like him. He steals my bombs on occasion. Then I have to buy more bombs. Uh, at least he drops cheese. He drops a whole bunch of stuff, and it doesn't even fit in the text box. I had to smush it in. He drops a big city burger and a bag of big city fries. He has a whole bunch of stuff he could drop. Let's see what's down here. Let's see what we could see. Besides moving guitars and drums and his spider. I thought there was a present here, but no, it's just Arachnid! With four exclamation points. That makes him more powerful than Arachnid, but he still dies with two shots. Especially when I'm level 20. It's ridiculous. He could poison you on occasion. Nothing too fantastic about him. And here's the gently weeping guitar. He's the most dangerous plain enemy in this area. Because he could electrocute your entire team. Like that. We don't have a Franklin badge. We cannot reflect this back. Paula is not in this game, and she's not being eaten by blue people. Sadly. I could use some cannibalism right now. Ooh, an excuse to use Llama Lana. As you can see, that the theme in this game, it depends on who's first. So we got Greedy or Mouse's theme, but we also have an elder baddie here. His song is a lot better. Maybe I'll try to find one by himself. Kill him first! And, you know what, bomb everybody else. Since the mouse will die in one shot from a bomb anyway. Elder Batty could steal your HP. He's just a wiser and older Mr. Batty. He still dies in a few shots. All these enemies are weak, and I don't like them. Haha, <laughs> I got levels anyway. Alright, I am low on PP and I did not think this through well. But that's what the magic tarts are here for. Because I'm gonna use them to life up my team. I wanna hold on to my food. You never know when it'll come in handy. Alright, might as well fight this drum enemy, he's right here. The beaten drum! Interesting fact about this guy is he can change the rhythm of battle while you're in it. 
Like he's gonna do right now. See? Now it's a march. Different beats, which means a different way to combo. I realized that I'm starting to get much better at comboing. Because I practiced on these guys a few times. Take that drum. I beat you to heck and back. I got a sprinting bomb that replaced the one I used. If you get into a fight with a weeping guitar, it's okay to, uh, you know, fight with him. Don't try to run. Because his electricity could do a lot of damage. That's a bag of big city fries. It'll heal you for 70 HP, just like a uh, beef jerky. I had enough of you enemies already. I power leveled on you. Huh. This is a safe room. We're safe here. We're safe with the mice and the frog. Huh. The mice are friendly enough. Let's talk to them. Uh, what are the words you're speaking at me? Great! We got Cockney Mice. They escaped from a Mary Poppins movie. I said I wanted Mother 3 in English, but I didn't want it this English. It's, it's great. I don't understand a word you're saying, Mr. Mouse. I understand nut bread. Are you gonna give it to me? Okay. Thank you, thank you for nut bread. Or as you say, baby's arm holding an apple. What, what? I hope I said that right. I, my cockney is a little odd, out of it. I can't speak English English very well. Let, let's try translating with this guy. Uh, Oi, Alfie! Remember up at me apples and pears? He was that guy that was all sixes and sevens, and he drove a lorry. And then he let me a fag. Alright, I, I guess I said I want some cheese. Thank you for cheese. Yeah. Please, please stop talking. I, I can't stand anymore. And here, these presents are mobile hot springs. If we eat the stuff right here, we get revitalized. Ah, that's good. I needed my PP back. Even though rice does not replenish PP, it replenishes something else that's not in this game. Good thing I did revitalize. That was a tough fight. Ow. Don't fight two instruments at once. It's not good for you. But I wanted what's in here. Magic gelatin. Restores more PP. And also the boss is right here. Huh. It's Jealous Bass! He's a wooden bass. He's still in his prime, but when Duster showed up, they threw him in the attic. Oh, they got a shiny new bass that Duster plays now. Well, don't do that! It's not healthy for you! I'll show you why! I don't care if you bring your friends in on this. I'll beat them all up. This guy is dangerous if you let his friends live. So don't suffer them. Use a pencil rocket on them and destroy them dead. Pencil rockets do considerably more damage than sprinting bombs. That's right. Where'd your friends go? Where'd your friends go? You're all alone now. What happened? Oh, his friends died, so he's gonna fly into a rage and get more offense. And I can't reduce his offense in any way, so uh, we're just gonna have to deal with that. The rest of the time, just hit him with your uh, PK Lama Lana, or whatever you called it, and throw bombs at him. Because Boney can't do a heck of a lot of damage right now. He doesn't have a new weapon at all. That's right, Lucas, it's all you. Boney is just playing backup. Wingman. Wing dog. Well, I guess you could call him a wingman now. Because, uh, he's wearing clothes, people clothes. That makes him a person. He's kind of like Wishbone. As you can see, Jello Space can also put you to sleep, which is actually kind of dangerous. I'm gonna have to take care of Boney, because he can't take care of himself. If you let him live, he could jam session with uh, other members that he calls in, and they'll do a lot of damage. Don't suffer that. It's a good thing I picked up that magic gelatin. I'm going to need it. Where'd it go? Boney, you took my magic gelatin. Give it to me immediately. It's not for dogs. It's actually poisonous to dogs. I should know. I'm psychic. I wasted a turn not llama at him. Instead, I had to 
fight. I really should have used the healing thing on Boney, but why not? He's dead. He blew up. DCMC has some dangerous instruments. They explode. Let's with them. And more levels! Yay for levels! Goodbye, Jealous Space. Ah, uh, I went all this way in the attic. I might as well drop down. Sure. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, where'd you all come from? I had to use the attic and you guys just walked in the front door? Seriously? Would have saved me a lot of trouble with a gel's base. Huh. Well, Kumator just explained everything to the band members. That Duster is an amniotic thief that uh, steals eggs. And they bought that. And Boney's thirsty. This is Shimmy Smiz! I think he, he plays the keyboard. Bashio, he's the drummer. Magic, he plays the electric guitar. He's the best guy here. And OJ, the leader. Tandagasa! Yes, I am. He is important to my storyline. Come on, Duster. You are coming with me now. Your name is Duster now. Remember that. He doesn't remember his real name, but he's been lucky for years. I mean, look at his hair. That's the hair of a guy who is lucky. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. I'll fill you in on everything that happened after Chapter 2. I just did it psychically. Immediately. Quick transfer. He doesn't remember anything since he came to the club. Doesn't know who he was. He was a thief. He came from Tasmali Village. And he's a moron. That's what Wes said. I'm just trying. I'm just relaying the message. He doesn't remember the egg though, and he knows it's important for something, because it's really, really shiny. He knew we had to keep it safe. Pig masks were after it. They wanted to tweet our secrets. So he buried it in a dirt clod in the valley. No one will ever find it there. Luckily, he rem still remembers where that is. He didn't hit his head recently. Good. Let me just explain this to you in a cutscene. It's a waterfall, and I think I saw a Tesla thing. It's not important to the story in the least. I mean, it's just there. Unknown Valley! That's what we call it, because we don't know what it is. That's where the egg is, alright. Come on, Duster. We're gonna adventure now. Leave your life of fame and fortune. Yeah. That means you remember who you are, and DCMC doesn't have time for that. Yep. That means you fight yourself to the death. Do it. I want to see it. I want to see who wins. Yeah, this is a problem. He can't make the decision on his own. Will he stay in the band, or will he go on an epic adventure? Alright, we're gonna ask Destiny. Destiny, get in here! We need to help with something. Oh, it's that other Destiny. They do have a way of talking to Destiny in DCMC. It's the same thing they always done when they have problems. We're gonna play Stone Sheet Clippers! It's just a Mother of Three way of saying we're gonna play Rock, Paper, Scissors now. That's how we're gonna do it. We can't flip a coin. Drago points aren't made in coin form. I'm gonna play RPS with these people. Rock, paper, scissors. If I win five times in a row, I get to keep Duster. If not, they'll keep him. That doesn't sound fair. No. I'm a, I'm a protagonist now. I can't, I can't complain about my lot in life. Yeah, might as well. It's a butt down less situation. They don't even give me a choice. Alright, uh, rock, paper, scissors is great and all, but we're gonna change it up a little bit. Instead of stone sheet clippers, they're gonna make it stone sheet clippers Drago pig mask. The rules are really simple. Clippers cut sheet, sheet covers stone, stone crushes Drago, Drago stomps pig mask, pig mask borrows clippers, clippers skewer Drago, Drago eats sheet, sheet bribes pig mask, pig mask lasers stone, and of course stone crushes clippers. You got it? 
I'm not saying it again. All right, let's get to going here. This is actually one of those Jim is taller than Phil and Phil is not as tall as Steve puzzles. We just talk to the band members and find out what their opening move is, because everybody has one. And we got a clue right here from Shimmy. Bashio will always lose to magic. So we just need a clue on what magic uses. Ah, Shimmy Smith always starts with stone. Yep, I could believe that or not. Well, magic told us that he and Shimmy always tie, so this puzzle is extremely easy now. Bashio is gonna lose to stone. See? He always chooses clippers! What's wrong with him? He has an obsession with bladed objects. That means magic always chooses stone. So we could beat both magic and Zmiz with sheet. Yeah, don't complain. You, lo you lost fair and square after telling me what you do. How you use it. Alright. You're going down, Zmiz. You have too many Z's in your name. I like that. I like your guff. You want to work for me? He loses with pizzazz. Even more Z's. He has a thing with Z's. Alright. Lucky is a little difficult. Whenever him, Magic, and OJ play it, they always end up in a tie. But that means he would choose stone. But, uh... You know what? We're just gonna play this by ear because he is a thief and he's dishonest. So let's go with... Clippers! That, see? This is why we have the Drago and Pig Mask in here. Nobody's choosing it! People that know each other tie constantly. Alright, we know he's gonna pick Clippers then. Take that! If you do happen to lose against anybody, they kind of throw the match and go, No, 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 that didn't happen. I, uh, I made a mistake. Uh, you're supposed to win. That's how the programmers say it. Alright, time to take on OJ. If I win this, we get Duster. If not, he stays in the band. But you know I have to win. It's part of the story. Destiny is the power of the developers, and the developers say you cannot lose this thing. Ever. They don't want you to. It's just a process of elimination, pretty much. Uh, are you- are you being covert now? I don't know when you're whispering. Uh, Alright. Hey guys, he's throwing a match for us! Alright. You told us to use clippers? We're gonna use clippers. That's a soundbite that was actually in the game. I don't know if they translated it or not. I'm not really sure. I would have to look that up. But we won! We won a duster. Well, it, his name fits his hairdo now. Well, you beat us all in rock, paper, scissors, so this guy is definitely some other guy. Oh well. We're gonna have to find a new bassist now. Alright. Kumatora doesn't have to stay here at all either, which means she's gonna go and get her hoodie. Can you live without your hoodie for five minutes? The answer is no, she needs it. It runs her psychic powers. What the heck? Kumatora's back to her old self. She's beating people up in the hallway. Great. Dusta, you were the best bass player ever. You played with your feet. We don't know how that works. You're amazing. Alright. One final farewell from DCMC. Alright. We won't see these guys again ever. I mean, they rock out loud and all that, but enough's enough. Bye, Shimmy. I'm gonna call you Zimmy because you don't have enough Z's in your name. I've declared this. Yeah. And? Okay, man, a few words. Bacio, welcome. He beats a drum, but he does not beat a dictionary. Alright. You, know, you won me fair and square. I am your eternal slave. You still know how to kung fu, right, Duster? Duster Git! And he has a ridiculous haircut now. Alright, come along with us, Duster. You, you are ours now. Kumatora, what did you do? 
They were just standing there. They were the least effectual guards ever. Man, you are a violent person. No wonder they call you Bear Tiger. We got the overly violent Kumatora now! And it's great! I feel great about this! I'm gonna have to send him an apology letter from the hospital later. Sorry! Sorry, our uh, tomboy psychic user is a little violent. I can't do anything about it. Alright, nothing else to do here now. Everybody went home for today. So might as well leave. Huh? Duster's Duster sense is tingling. It's probably just the sound guy getting ready for the next show tomorrow night. Wonder how they're gonna sound without bass. Well, we'll figure it out right now. Without their bass, they can only play somber music. Alright, why does the goodbye get lyrics, but King's P King P's theme does not get music? Or lyrics? Someone buy them a songwriter so they could write the lyrics to King P's theme. I want to see that. Alright, how are they gonna make somber music rock out loud? Do they need to make it rock out loud? I think so. Let's remember all the fun times DCMC had with Duster. Which is not many. He's only been there three years. Like when he arrived at the club and was getting beat up by Neckbeard. And practicing the bass! He was bad with his hands, he moved to his feet, and he did exceptionally well. Everybody else waits for the bus. Alright! I knew it was gonna rock out loud sooner or later. You do it, Magic! You play that magic wand, which is your axe. Magic Axe Wand. Tondagasa guys will never meet again. Here, have my hair as a as a goodbye present. I grew it for three years, but you can have it now. And then I like to imagine it getting up and walking away. Alright. Is, is Duster coming out anytime soon? Okay, there we go. Duster, you took your sweet time saying goodbye. I mean, it's not like we won't meet them again, which we won't. Boney, you could take that ridiculous thing off now. All right, Wes, here you go. Here's your message back. We found Duster. He's still a moron. That looks like an end of a chapter, if I would say. And I do say, and in spades. So next time on Mother 3, we're going to move on to Chapter 5. What awaits us? Well, an egg for one thing. And probably the end of the game, because I don't see any more plot points that will pop up. I mean, you got the Majipsies and you got that, that Tesla coil thing, but they don't matter. I'm Irma Chocobo. Good night.